Hey everybody and welcome back to Embird. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we're going to be working on more Embird quick tips. This one I'm showing you today is a real time saver. It also confuses a lot of people so I'm going to show you guys this. Up here you see there is a tab for shape. The problem is when you click on the shape these are all grayed out and nothing happens. How do you use them? It's so frustrating. And it is, I agree. What you have to do is select what you want on the shape. Do you want a filled one or do you want just the outline? We'll do both. So let's select a filled one. You can go up to shape and they still don't show up. What do you do? Put down a node. Now go up and you can pick. I like this one, rounded rectangle, and the star is always nice. And triangle is pretty handy, but let's do rounded rectangle because that one can take a little bit of time to do. And you position yourself here. You can see, I'll zoom right in, but you can see under my pointer, it's in the shape of a rectangle. So you know what you're doing and you left click and you drag. Now up, down, you can get it the exact shape that you want and enter and look at that you're done and you can see you don't have to place all these nodes in here it's all done for you and you can go over here to the right and you can select your fill you can select your underlay uh, depending on what you're stitching it on you could turn it into a gradient I'm going to leave mine like this just for now. Let's generate the stitches and let's go to 3D. And there you go. That is how easy it is to create a shape. So let's do that again. Let's do that again with an outline. So I select the outline open and put a node down. You always got to remember to put that node down and let's do a star outline. Left click drag and you got to get it you know to the shape that you want that'll fit in let's see we don't want it stretched out that's kind of a nice one let go hit enter and there you go if you need to make adjustments to this while you're right here you just click on the line and you can add if you want to do a little bit more I don't know why you'd want to do this but if you wanted to you can make some more shapes now remember it's an outline so it's not going to fill in but if you wanted to have a swirly star maybe I don't know let's generate it and there you go you have it if you want to change that go to parameters and I'll move this down a little bit you can change the stitch type so you can make it red work and you have to hit apply and generate stitches to be able to see what it is so let's do that again right click parameters and let's do something completely different triangle apply to see if you like it no not really I can't say that I like it how about a star outlined in stars sure why not makes the swirly look kind of weird generate stitches there you go and that's how you make shapes from here it either filled in and changed them or outlines that's how it's done inside here inside Embird software thanks everyone for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video to let me know you want more videos just like this and i will see you guys in the next video bye